Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Atelier Rizza Mythologies Sub Zero. I'm a serious JG. Nah, I'm the lethal. He is the lethal, and we are the stuck on this treasure path with nowhere else to go. But plumbing or similar <laughs> blue collar issues should await us if I can get this damn thing to go to Crooked Island. Yes, Larissa, I need you to change the oil in my car. God damn it! We were talking last time, it's like, do my taxes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said blue collar, so I'm always I'm not blue collar, yeah. You, you. Look, we need to get these refrigerators delivered. <laughs> I, I don't do, I don't do stairs with refrigerators. You gotta get these microwave ovens. <laughs> Custom kitchen deliveries. All right, so where am I actually going here? Uh, well, there's a little question mark. I don't think that's it. Well, there's a there's a green report quest at the bottom. Is this like a trap? Like every time we come here, there's something that says report quest, and it's never actually ready. So we'll know in a moment. Uh, this should be Daniel, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, there's this guy who, like, travels to different places, and he's like, You'll really know a lot about the world if you travel elsewhere. You are not ready to do this quest. Yeah, here you oh, go. Oh, magic tool. So, yeah, we are looking for... Hmm. Magic tool. Huh. So no idea why that's showing up that way. Yeah, it's not ready to... Re well, hold on. Maybe maybe it means any magic tool. Like we could give him a. Uh... Let's try. It. Nope. Yeah, we're return and you can do that. It's all just, all just a cutting ruse. Yeah, it is a, it is a trap that we fall for again and again. That may be only the second time, but there may be a third. And I'm getting him confused with this guy who, uh, not enough information. Well, not, not, actually, it's the first time. So that guy we've run into before, this is the first time it told us it, there will be a quest here. You're just not ready for it yet, so. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, let's see. One of these houses is Claudia's, and one of them is where our, uh, Alchemy Super Pals were hanging out. But I think our Alchemy Super Pals now live with us at the Atelier. Oh, they the House do. of Bannon, yeah. So that, that was their house. Man, I wish I could, I could just walk up to a house and say, Hey, I'm abandoned. I'm all cool. <laughs> I'm a mortgage. For nothing. Do the mortgage paperwork. That is my second quest before you can hang out with my daughter. Ten simple rules for hanging out with my daughter. Fix my plumbing. Is this the, is this the Claudia place? Yeah, it's the Claudia place. Because yep. the, uh, the actual, the noble house of uh, boss is its own whole screen, so. Mm -hmm. I'd really love to go adventuring with everyone. I hope I can make my father understand. Through the magic of... Missed. The magic of flute playing. This You'll is never like, do that. Yeah. We're, we're having a lot of fun. Some of it kind of uh, juvenile. This is actually like the sweetest... <laughs> <laughs> like, the just, like, most gentle little adventure I've played in I do not remember how long. Like, a quest to, uh, be friends with somebody. It's you again. I still need to determine whether or not I can entrust my daughter to you. All um, right. Yeah. So, what you got? Y you do. That's why I thought we came here. Head to the Bowden District. Okay. Uh, it it, it d didn't tell us to come here. I suppose it's our, it's our fault. It is. I just, I didn't read all of that, and I just said, maybe JG knows what he's doing. Well, I, How wrong I, I, I was, no? <laughs> it's like, wait, well, yeah, no, that was, that was, okay. I, I'm, I'm gonna blame myself for my mistake. Y you trusting me, that was your mistake, okay? I, I will, I don't think it was utterly illogical to think, hey, time has passed, let's go to the guy who is giving us quests. I mean, why would you think to do that, when the cutscene's just right here? Oh, oh my god, there's everybody! Whoa! 
You work here, boss. What is Claudia your next target? I don't know what his previous targets were. Like, what? in, in what way does she mean target? She's going to kill him. Or, or, the other way around. His <laughs> next conquest here? No conquest. <laughs> Big surprise seeing you all together. It's not bad enough you pretend to be adventurers. Now you're doing weird stuff with some outsider. So, yeah, I heard you've been going door to door begging for work. Like some kind of no work having person. What do you mean, weird? It's alchemy. I mean, that's normal as anything, as mundane as anything in this world. Come on. Anyway, I don't have time for this. I have important adventuring to do. You know, people have talked about alchemy as being the transmuting of one matter to another. I think the true al uh, definition of alchemy is going from door to door begging for work. Oh, by the way, you, you may find this amusing. The the thing Bobo and I are occasionally finding little moments to Let's Play together is uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, which he's he's doing over on his channel. Mm -hmm. Alchemy. I saw you guys start that. Alchemy yeah. is, a, is a major plot point and factor. And, like, just once or twice over the course of this, like, something will come about alchemy. And I'll say something like this. And Bobo, who has a wife, two kids, and no time, has no clue whatsoever. <laughs> Why alchemy gets mentioned. And I start talking like this. How did you not know about the risk? Come on, man. <laughs> you are too old to be getting all excited over a bunch of stupid magic spells. You're such a child. Who are you calling a child? Ugh. Are you sure that wasn't my line, Lover? Hey, you know, Lover, why aren't we friends? We're actually pretty similar. Because I'm cooler than you are. I'd rather be a, a Krill and Noble than whatever you are. Yeah. Why do you speak to her like that? You know, looking her in the eye directly. You drag Lumbar around and act like some kind of schoolyard bully. Who's a real child here? Bravo. He's my training partner. I'm the heir to the Brunnen legacy, you know. I don't have time for the likes of you. Yet here you are. Why are you so intent on antagonizing the Riza? Are you guys going to be in love in the third game? What? No, she's... It's like, it's like he's responding to my quip rather than the actual dialogue. <laughs> dots. Obvious dots. You like the Riza. They're always running around, chasing after their silly dreams like a bunch of idiots. I, meanwhile, am a Brunnen man. I spend every day studying and honing my skills with the blade. Brunnen man. Oh man, she is so sincere. Yuna could not cup her breasts with more sincerity. But Riza and her friends aren't that different. They're only acting like this because you wandered into their lives, so they have something to latch onto. Oh, sorry. I, like, I saw him watch it, boss, and I really did think it was Lumbar. <laughs> watch it, boss. I've been going easy on you because we've known each other so long. But Dot's exclamation point. You're the one that needs to watch it. You think you have any control over anything? Fine. We'll show you just how much we've changed. <laughs> you better keep this up. At least to the family leaves. It'll be pretty embarrassing for you otherwise. Dots! Okay, bye! <laughs> and we're off. I remember what I said, we're gonna do this! We yeah. alchemize the house! What That's exactly? Driver. Yeah, we'll show that little punk boss. No, we'll show the entire village just how serious we are. I've changed too. I changed my own diaper. I was too afraid to say so in front of boss. Did they all used to be friends or something? Anywho, uh, what are you doing, Claudia? Are you going to give us a new quest? Oh, right. Well, something came up and I had to talk to you. Actually, father says he has another task for you, so he sent me to come and get you. He didn't Rizzo think of it. <laughs> yeah, like 30 seconds ago when you were in our house, he hadn't thought of it yet. 
Uh, of course. Well, great. We've been waiting for this, obviously. I wonder what he's got in store for us this time. Man, look how enthusiastic Tao is about this. <laughs> I want to do whatever it is and show everyone. We're going to build our own village. It's going to be better than Pussy Village. Tao's got, like, resting wah face. <laughs> resting wah face. <laughs> hmm, hmm. I don't know the details, but I guess I'll take it'll take place near where we're staying. All right, well, let's head all over there together. We'll all run out of town. Do, do, do. We're gonna go harass Daniel. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, you're. Yeah, before you can hang out with my daughter, you have to get this dye business started. Hello, Mr. Valance and Mr. Brunnen. What? There you little brats are. You've got some knife keeping a member of the Brunnen family waiting. <laughs> I forgot to talk like Yuki Bear. <laughs> Like, I guess oh. it's it's too late now, and I like the voice we have for Boss, but he should talk like Boo Boo. <laughs> oh, well. But, Bratz, you still think we're just a bunch of little kids goofing off or something? Huh. There you go again, acting a high and mighty. Father, isn't this to do with their next task? What's Mr. Brennan doing here? Because the next task is a request for the village itself. You see all this junk here? All that junk going in our trunk? Uh, yeah. There's a bunch of stuff just scattered all around. We got stones and rocks. Anything else? It's mostly debris from the earthquake a few days ago, along with a few extra things. It wasn't so much to begin with, but... Stuff started piling up, and people have started throwing their trash in it as well. It's making it hard to get around here, and people are complaining, and it's my job to look after things like this. Okay, so you asked you what exactly? I can't put two and two together, man. <laughs> get to the point, I'm not good at predicting things. Use that wonderful miracle whatever thing of yours to clean all up. It's not some whatever thing. It's called alchemy, God. <laughs> it's great it's for summoning. <laughs> it's great for summoning demons and cleaning up urban messes. They're also making houses. Fine, whatever. Can you handle it or not? If that's what you want, if that's what I have to do, then yeah, I can. Trademark Barack Obama. That's not as bad a response I was hoping for. Lombard, are you sure about this? Oh, my name's Luber. Well, what what response do you think he was hoping for? Was he hoping for them to just, like, quit so he could quit? I wanted to say yes, so do it. Hooray! I can help the wonderful Brunnen family. They are heroes and saviors. God bless the Brunnens Brun and their glorious regime. Sincerely, little girl. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, her alchemy managed to fix the leak in my basement. I'm prepared to entrust her with this. This problem that isn't really mine to entrust her with at all. <sighs> well, if you insist, but you kids better not disappoint me. Your parents will be the ones to pay. Like, I care about that. This is for Claudia's sake. I'll do whatever needs to be done. <laughs> Pulls down, you know, facts light on his... I'd kill a man if Claudia. So first we have to fix a leak, and now we have to clean up a bunch of junk? They really are treating us like a bunch of common handymen. We should probably get that one guy. All wrong. Oh yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Oh, there's like stuff flashing and it's confusing me over there. I, I'm really sorry about all this. The fact that your town is run by assholes and it's, it's not my fault, but I'm sorry I've been roped in. No, we really don't mind. We're just making a scene. But anyway, for now, we just have to figure out what to do with all this stuff. Maybe I could turn it into a, another village. Most of it's pretty small, so it shouldn't be too hard to move. But actually breaking it down could be tough. You ever see that one Breaking Bad? We gotta get exactly the right kind of plastic or we'll end up melting through the floor. 
breaking it down, that's it. We don't break it down, we blow it up, son. <laughs> hey, why are you making those faces? I'm not a terrorist. <laughs> I feel like the mayor might resent, uh, regret his choices. Pan up to the sky. Meanwhile, in space. I know the Riz is gonna blow something up. Let's look out this window. Create a bomb with at least 50 quality. Well? Quality bomb, huh? We'll need the anarchist cookbook for this. Let us see. Oh, that's only going to give us the current container. Uh, I know what our uni is. It's probably not strong enough. Uh, we've got a bomb level 51. Oh. Well, there you go. So it's let's, like you know. Let's unequip that and... Uh, and that'll be it. Well, we'll want to make a replacement later, I guess. But for now... <laughs> Bomb here. Oh. <laughs> no, I was actually just picking up sandstone. No, I was just talking about that big red arrow. Is this okay? Sure. This okay? What could possibly go wrong? My favorite bobcat always says that. <laughs> and, then says, <laughs> and then he says, and then he says, blah, blah, I'll come to take your daughter's blah. All right, time to blast it all to dust. How did it never occur to me that that voice you're doing sounds like Bobcat Goldthwait? <laughs> yeah. Are you sure this is a good idea? I mean, it does seem like a pretty easy way to handle it, but... Uh... Riz's plans are all like this. Poorly thought out and super dangerous. Just watch your head, okay? Hey, be quiet over there! And by over there, I mean right here in front of my ass. Anyway, <laughs> here goes! Hey, be quiet over there, I'll bomb you next! Damn, son! <laughs> Whoa, so the building is utterly intact! <laughs> Yeah, it had friendly fire control, and so of course it didn't destroy all this wood. See, all accordion to plan. That was a snap. I'm just glad it wasn't a total disaster. That could have been a lot worse, considering whose idea it was. Why do you always have to downplay everything when I'm totally awesome? Just compliment me like a normal person. What was that? Was that an explosion? I heard what's going on. Respond. What do you think? Junk's all gone. Hmm. The ground is a bit chud, but I can't deny that you've cleaned up the area. Well done, Rizalyn. A.K.A. the Rizza. You've completed task number two. Awesome! Wait, the way you say that makes me think we're not finished yet. Well, that and the fact that we've long since established there are three tests. It's bothering me how those uh, those d bombs are floating in midair there. I don't know if anyone else saw that. Oh, yeah. Now, she's got some weirdness going on with her, uh, her arm wear. <laughs> of course not. No parent can entrust their child to someone so easily. Yeah, like, we've really proved your child will be safe to us with our uh, ability to manufacture explosives. Uh, so what's next? You want us to fix your roof? Paint your fence? Oh man. <laughs> Talk got the latitude here. Oh, can Alchemy really do that? Can it paint my fence? Hey, shut up. He might actually make us do it. Ah, oh, jeez. You're gonna paint my wagon? You're <laughs> gonna paint it fine. Gonna Why use not? that oil base paint? Because the wood is fine. Oh wait, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, no, it's okay. Have Why not just do every single chore for all the villages? You want everyone to like you, right? Shut up, boss. You think that we what we did here was just some normal chore? Of course. You just picked up some trash. And by the way, I suggested you to father. You should be thanking me, you and your lack of butt. Father, is that really the only person you had them do- Is that really the only reason you had them do this? Thoughts? I don't care if it's just some Nova chore. We're still doing alright, right? You're right, I should thank your ass. 
you gave me the chance to show everyone how great my acumen really is. <laughs> it is covering for the fact that you're a sore loser. Wait. I'm winning, <laughs> son. <laughs> yeah. <it's, laughs> I read the line, but boss, the fuck, man? She's just she's, she's dominating right now. <laughs> the prisoner is dominating. <laughs> dominating. He thinks we're the sore losers? We showed him, didn't we? Lumber? What? Just what exactly is going on here? <laughs> just considered a little spat between children. Hmm. Well, shall we return? And off they go for another oh, I... financial adventure. Oh. I like how Rich just didn't like pay attention to anything that was going on <laughs> said between these individuals. He yeah. was like, what's going on? Ooh, what the fuck? Well, what's happening? I spaced out for a second. <laughs> He's like, wait, did, did, did we have them kids blow up junk just because uh, my son was angry at this? Whatever. I don't know. Father? Yes, daughter. I want to kill you. Everything. We're going to be killed one more time. Updated. Now I need to. Yep. <laughs> Set the Sizer Explorer and wait one more day. Oh. I tell you, Riza. You know how to tell a tale. By having people you know just wait. You know how to tell a tale. A and a tell a tale. And more pretty shells. It looked exactly like the other one, but this one's adorable. Very pretty. Well, I mean... Forest clearing. Pretty sure we're not going to find any maps that look like uh, that treasure area yet. So I guess I might as well just go to the atelier and. I can't think of anything in particular to do. We could synthesize a new replacement bomb real quick. Yeah, we should probably. Or we could have time. this. Hey, pal! What's that jingle jangle thing you had? <laughs> oh, you don't know very much about the birds and peas, do you? <laughs> Well, I am young still. Oh, this is the jewel commonly used in alchemy. It's called a gem. Not very creative, I know, but that's what it is. It's beautiful, so you can use it as an alchemy ingredient? Hmm, perhaps when you're ready, you see alchemy allows you to reinforce items that you've already made. What do you mean? Shocking. It means that it'll let you surpass an item's normal limit. Mastery will even allow you to create even more powerful items. Holy shit, burgers. Of course, such special techniques require special materials, which is exactly what gems like this are for. That's when they come in. Where do you get these gems with the capital G? And are they, as I've heard, Truly outrageous. I mean, I have to turn them, but are they outrageous? Well, through a process called reduction, you you, you put it into a pot and then <laughs> boil it down. Yep. You can create different materials and convert them into gems. I'm not making this shit up. <laughs> That's so cool. So you could just make jewels for normal, more than normal stuff. I mean, that's impossible. Why not just sell them and get all rich? I think we may have found the logical flaw in alchemy. <laughs> oh, they might glitter the same way, but they're not true, you know, trademarked jewels. They're just, uh, there's no real demand for them. Like, uh, like those synthetic diamonds, you could make saw blades out of them, but you're not going to sell them either way. We can turn a honeycomb and Ike into pyrite, unfortunately. Gold, we just haven't quite got it yet. They have massive practical value, like the artificial diamonds Lethal mentioned, but you can... Who would pay for something that you, could, you can just make yourself? I mean, no one ever does that. Yeah, they wouldn't pay for, like, furniture or, you know, a... It's kind of the basis of our entire economy. I mean, <laughs> I go out to eat at restaurants. Like, it, technically, I could make my own food. No one's going to do that. You're silly, the RZA. 
So not, they're not even worth a single call? Even though they were so pretty, I mean, that's too bad. That's too bad. And just like that, your clever but naive plan is foiled. Anyway, let me explain the process for reinforcing. Fade to black. All right. Item rebuild. Previously crafted items can be reinforced by using item rebuild. This can only be used on items that the RZA herself has synthesized. You can't do it to other items for uh, government reasons. <laughs> the government will come and shut you down if you... <laughs> I, I was like, man, is lethal okay? It's taking him a while to get the word undisclosed. <laughs> but no, different direction. These items are indicated by an icon to the right of the item's level. You will see it here. Right on screen right now. <laughs> A normal synthesis limits how many materials you can use, but item rebuild lets you add even more, if you can believe it. As a result, you can create items that you wouldn't have been able to through normal sy synthesis. However, their level will increase according to the element value plus one. Um... Don't know what that is? You never will. <laughs> yeah. During item rebuild, the item cannot exceed Riz's alchemy level. Wow. Excuse me, the al Riz's alchemy level. Very important. Think carefully about which item Lupe to level up before selecting what item to use. If the item level is too high, you won't be able to use it. Again, for government reasons, they'll shut your ass down. So please pay <laughs> careful attention. Yes. Gem reduction. Oh, the excitement. I know. Contain yourself. Put a gem on a saucepan over low to medium heat. Each time you add materials to an item rebuild, you get gems. For you need For gems. <laughs> you can obtain these by using gem reduction, which can turn any item into gems. Apparently, we will eventually have hundreds and hundreds of gems for this example. As indicated in the, this figure here, yes. Use this process to convert any items you have no use for. Why are you putting me into the pot? Oh, jeez. Let use item rebuild to cr something going. Oh, car. I think we can probably do that. Item rebuild. So what would be worth rebuilding? We could rebuild something fancy. We could rebuild something think. basic. I mean, our alchemy level's super high, so we could make higher level weapons, armor, because they're only like level two, three, five. Yeah. The items we're using. Uh, it looks like for some of these weapons and armor, it looks like we might be missing an item. That might be required. Uh, and we did already say we needed to build dynamite. What if we... Uh, well, apparently, Cal already has one equipped. Um, A quality 28 dynamite. It does fire damage, as you might expect. So, add materials. Well... It's not letting me add anything. Maybe we need gems first before we do this? Of which we have zero? That could be. In which case, we'd want to do a gem reduction. Uh, it'd be nice to sort these by... Uh, Quality, I'd say. Well, I, guy, I want to see oh, if we can just find something where we've got like a million of them. There's yeah. a couple of nameless grasses in there. Yeah, there's more. Yeah, we got one few nameless grasses. We could probably probably just grab a row of these. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. I was starting to wonder, like, what what is the best way to use just. 
just garbage that piles up after a while. Because you can sell these for coal, but it's really not getting very much. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice if they had a quality of life just to, like, reduce all the stuff that you had a lot of and was low quality. Yeah, I mean, we could, we could sort by quality and just uh, have the... Those are the best. These quality. are the best, so, so we could just get rid of garbage uh, fairly easily. Grass, beans, and honey. These are maybe things I actually crafted way back when. Anyway, I think we got enough. But I know we've got enough uh, content for this video. So the excitement that is uh, reinforcing, that may have to wait for next time. So when we come back next time, now that we've got gems and uh, our dreams of using them to become wealthy have been foiled, We'll instead uh, experience the dream of recrafting stuff we've already crafted. Sounds like fun. Catch you then. Bye-bye.